welcome to Out of Bounds Learn. This is a series of videos where I'm gonna help you get better at golf, whether you're a beginner or an elite level golfer. Today, we've got a slope in light, up slope and a down slope. I got 105 yards into this hole. Really simple, I'm gonna keep this so simple. The up slope is gonna mean that the ball's gonna go higher and shorter. So what I'm gonna recommend you do on here is change the golf club that you use. Don't mess around with technique too much, ball back, hands forward, hands back, changing too much around. Let's just change the club. I've got 105 yards here. Typically, for me, that's gonna be a full sand wedge, but I'm gonna club up one to 50 degree here because I know the upslope is gonna turn that 50 degree into a 54 degree my sand wedge anyway. Let's give this one a go. So this is, whether you can see it on camera here, this is quite an upslope actually. We've got some water to carry. I'm gonna get in there with my 50 degree and I'm gonna embrace the slope. I'm not gonna fight the slope. What I typically see a lot of golfers do is they'll lean too much into the slope. They'll put the ball back, they'll go forwards. And what happens is the club on that upslope, it drives and digs into the floor a bit too much. So we're gonna set everything with the slope. That means my body, my hips, my shoulders, and also, how I want to deliver that club, almost going with the slope, not fighting it too much. We're still gonna take a bit of a divot because it's a wedge, but I'm not gonna fight the slope. I'm gonna get with the slope. So let's give this one a go. 50 degree, 105 yards. Ball position still in the middle. I'm just gonna slightly lean my body back with a slope and gonna try and make that motion with the slope. Oh, this one looks good. Go in. Oh, just do that. Okay, bit of a down slope here. We've moved a little bit forwards. It's now playing 100, not 105. But again, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. From here, I would typically still use sand wedge. I've still got it because the down slope is now gonna de-loft this 54. So I'm gonna just tell myself, I know this ball's gonna come out a lot lower, less loft, lean in a little bit more with the slope. What I typically see with golfers on down slopes is that they lift the club up off the ground too much. Again, like the up slope, we need to get this club working with the slope, not up off it, because that's gonna give me fins and fat before the ball. I'm gonna try and get this club working down the slope. So again, ball position is just staying in the middle like it would for a normal shot. I might lean a little bit with the slope, again, trying to tilt my shoulders, trying to tilt my hips, just setting the tone with the body for this shot. And I'm gonna try and feel that that club is staying quite low to the ground after the shot. So I'm extending my arms, rotating the body, so I'm moving the club with the slope, not back up off it. Let's give this one a go. Let's see if I can get this one as close as that 50 degree on the up slope. This one's good as well. Ooh, not quite as close as a 50, but it'll do. Use common sense in this, guys. Up slope adds loft, ball's not gonna go as far. Down slope de lofts, the ball's gonna go further and it's gonna come out a bit flatter. Hey, nowadays the pain follow me. Deal with trauma privately. I don't wanna be a burden, I handle things defiantly. Spend a decade searching for a higher power. God.